Hey teachers, in today's video, I am answering one of the most asked questions that I receive about Flipgrid. So some of the most popular videos here on my channel are my Flipgrid videos, and I have all of those linked in the description below if there's anything you wanna know about Flipgrid or if you wanna go back and watch any of those. But since I've started creating these Flipgrid videos, one of the questions that I receive from teachers the most is how do I leave feedback for my students after they've posted a video? And so in today's video, I'm gonna show you an update that was recently made to Flipgrid that will allow you to leave comments and interact with your students in a private way after they have um, responded to a question or an assignment using Flipgrid. So let's go ahead, we're gonna jump on my computer and I'm gonna show you how it's done. Remember, anytime you log into Flipgrid, it's going to take you to your discussion dashboard first. So let's say I wanna go through and start reviewing student responses and leaving feedback. I'm gonna click on one of my groups it's gonna give me my active topics here, and I can see that I have one response in fluency reading. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. And down here, it will list out all of the responses that students have left uh, for fluency readings. And I just wanna show you real quick if you click on actions, there's all kinds of things that you can do. You can add it to a mixtape, which we talked about in the video where I shared all of the updates uh, to Flipgrid. You can move and duplicate responses. You can download the video. You can delete the response. Um, if you've moderated it, you can decide whether to make it live or not. But to actually view the response, you're going to just click on it. And here's a video the response will play automatically. This is just like a practice video that I created for showing you guys. But when you wanna leave feedback, all you're gonna do is you're gonna scroll down and click on the feedback tab. And this is something only you, the teacher, will see. Um, the other students will not see this and you can decide how you want to leave feedback. There is private video feedback, so you can record a video for your students, giving them feedback that way. And the camera tools and features for this are going to be the same that I have shown you in some of the other videos in our Flipgrid series. Now, when I created this topic, I just used the standard rubric that Flipgrid provides. So the standard rubric just grades for ideas and performance. So I can give them a score on each of these areas. If I created custom feedback, which is the very last thing that you uh, can decide to do in, when you're creating a topic and custom feedback will allow you to create your own rubric. So if I had created custom feedback with my own rubric, it would appear right here and I would be able to grade that. And then the last thing I can do is leave, leave private comments. So let's say I don't really want to record a video I can leave comments here and um, those will be just for my students' eyes only. None of the other students in the class would be able to see that. So that is all that you're going to do if you wanna give private feedback to the student. Now, if you want to leave some kind of student or some kind of comment for the student that all of the other students in the class can see, you'll click on the details tab and click add a comment. So if you just wanna give them praise and tell them you did a great job and you want them to, you want the other students to be able to see that and acknowledge how good the student did as well, you can do that publicly under details. So the feedback tab is private, the details tab is public but that is how you can leave feedback for your students. So Flipgrid's been rolling out a lot of updates lately, including this feedback feature. And I'm really excited because I feel like the team at Microsoft, which creates Flipgrid, I feel like they're really listening to teachers and incorporating the things that we're asking for into the platform. And this is one of those things. So I would love to hear from you. Let me know in the comments below what features you love about Flipgrid. What are some features that you would maybe like to see incorporated into Flipgrid? Or what are just questions that you have about Flipgrid? 
let me know in the comments. And then make sure to like and subscribe to this channel. We upload new videos all the time about using technology in the classroom, creative ideas to teach, um, ways to save time as a teacher, and I don't want you to miss out on any of those videos. So until next time, happy teaching.